Hello and welcome back. So in this lecture, we are actually going to go ahead and retrieve all the messages from the database and display them in the recycler view. So for that reason, what you need to do first is that you need to have uh, the usual class, which we always have, which is going to have the getters and setters. So what you need to do here is that you need to go create a Java class. Let's name this as message and hit OK. And once this thing is done, we are good to go. Now in this message class, what we will do here is that we will add in the content as a string. So we'll type in private string content. And right now at the moment, as we are only interested in content, we will only add content over here and we are not going to actually add username. We are actually going to add the username, but not at this stage, but we are going to do it once we have completed the sign in and login functionality. So now let's go ahead, create a constructor. So that's going to be public message, which is going to be an empty constructor and public message. That's going to be string content. And in here, let's go ahead and type in this dot content equals to content. And once this thing is done, we are good to go. So let's add the getter and let's add the setter. So once this thing is done, uh, what we need to do is that we need to go to the main activity and here we will create the recycler view. So that's going to be private recycler view. Let's name this thing as M message list. So after this, what we need to do is that we need to go ahead and initialize this recycler view. So we do that in the on create method. So that's going to be m message list dot set has fixed size and we are going to set the fixed size to be true and we are going to set this equal to true then after this what we are going to do is that we are going to set a linear layout for this so here we are going to type in linear layout manager linear layout manager equals new linear layout manager pass in the reference as this and here we will type in linear layout manager dot set stack from n so what this is going to allow us to do is that when the user actually enters the new message the message list is going to start displaying from the end so here we are going to set this to true and after that let's go ahead and set the layout manager to the m message list so m message list dot set layout manager and set the linear layout manager over here so once it is done we are good to go now the next thing which we need to do here is that we need to create a new class in this activity itself and that class is actually going to be the message holder class so we will type in public static class that's going to be message view holder which is obviously going to extend the recycler view so extends recycler view dot view holder so once we are done adding that let's go ahead and create a view over here but even before that you do need to make sure that you have a constructor over here so simply create a matching constructor over here and after that let's declare a view which is view m view and then let's go ahead and use the set content method over here but even before that let's set the view equal to m view so here we will type in m views view as item view and after that let's go ahead and set the method which is public void set content and it's actually going to have content as a parameter and once we have it let's go ahead and get reference to the single text view so right now if you go to layout as you could see we have the single message layout and first we need to get a reference to the message content or message text which is this thing right here so for that purpose we get a reference to that text view so we will type text view not telecom service this should actually be text view let's name this thing as message content that's going to be equal to text view and that's going to be m view dot find view by id r dot id dot message text so after this let's set the message content dot set text to the content so once this thing is done we are almost good to go now in the on start method so right now we don't have any on start method so let's quickly go ahead and create an on start method over here so in this on start method we are actually going to go ahead and create the firebase recycler adapter 
So the first thing which we need to do even before we do that is that we need to check if we have added the dependency which is the Firebase UI dependency and hopefully it should be added over here but let me just quickly go through it and check if that thing is added and we don't have the dependency yet so I'm going to quickly paste the dependency over here so let me just quickly go ahead paste the dependency over here and after that let me just sync the project and once this thing is synced we could go ahead start adding the Firebase Recycle Adapter okay so the project is synced now and let's go to the main activity and in here in the on start method let's go ahead and add a firebase recycle adapter so that's going to be firebase recycle adapter set the class equal to message and message view holder as the view holder class and let's name this thing as firebase recycle adapter fbra equals new firebase recycle adapter make sure to have a semicolon over here and in here as usual we are going to pass in the message class so message dot class comma r dot layout dot that's going to be single message layout as the layout then let's pass in the message view holder over here so message view holder dot class and then finally we will add in the database reference as m database so once it is done we are almost good to go so the final thing which you need to do is that you need to go in this view holder and you need to set the content over here so view holder dot set content is going to be model dot get content and the final thing which you need to do is that you need to set the m message list which is the recycler view to the firebase recycle adapter using the set adapter method so set adapter fbra and once this thing is done we are good to go so we could run our application on the device and see how it works so i'm going to quickly go ahead save the code and run this application on my device so as to see how it works okay so we caught an error over here because we have something over here at the line number 32 and it says uh, dot set has fix size is having a null object reference so i will quickly go through the error and i'll see what is the issue okay so we did a quite a silly mistake over here the one most important thing that we actually missed here is that we missed to go ahead and set the recycler view so here we will quickly go ahead and do that so in the onCreate itself, what we need to do here is that even before setting up the uh, message list and everything like that, we need to go ahead and need to type in m message list equals recycler view, and we actually need to set its ID. So that's going to be find view by ID r dot ID dot, and I guess the recycler views ID is message rec. So let's confirm that first. And then we are basically good to go. So let me just go to the resources, layout and activity main. Yeah, it is the same name. And now we are actually good to go. So let me just save the code again and run this real quick to see if this actually works. Okay, so the application is up and running over here. So I actually start recording. And as you could see, and now uh, we do have the messages over here. And let's quickly go ahead and try to add another message. So I'm going to type hello what's going on so when I hit this button as you could see we have a new message over here so let's add another new message like what's going on there and when I click this button again we have this message over here so as you could see there is the default name which we have used and the default time uh, so these things are actually static and they are not dynamic yet so now the next thing which we need to do is that we need to go ahead and learn how to actually add the name of the user so even before adding the name of the actual user you need to sign in the user as well as register the user so as a homework you could try to implement the register activity and sign in activity on your own and if it does not work out for you then you could always watch the next videos so the next lecture is going to be about signing up the users and then the next lecture to that is going to be for the login logging in of the users and finally we will add the user data to the app so that the message gets displayed along with the actual username so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time thank you